Welcome to Module 7, Lesson 2. Today we are going to continue on with uh, inequalities, but now we are going to talk about writing two-step inequalities. So we're still going to construct simple inequalities and use variables, but with two steps. Alright, so in our first problem, we are going to actually skip that first page in your notes where we're modeling the inequalities, and we are going to jump to our first example. So in example one, we have a team of mountain climbers and they are camped at an altitude of 18,460 feet on Mount Everest. <clears throat> and they want to reach the 29,029 foot summit within six days. We are going to write an inequality to find the average number of feet per day that the team must climb to accomplish their objective. So first and foremost, we're going to do our ride and take a look at what we need to do. So it's asking us to write an inequality to find the number of feet per day to accomplish their objective. And here I'm going to underline the fact that they want an inequality. So in this case, what it's telling us is it's not an equation. There's not an exact number of miles that they need to walk, I'm sorry, feet that they need to walk per day because of the fact that they can do it within. So within here is a really important word because within tells us that they can do this, you know, in not exactly six days within to me. So if I say I want something within six days, if you give it to me in more than six days, you've not met, met the expectation. If you give it to me before six days, you have met the expectation. So they can walk enough miles to do this in less than six days, in exactly six days, but if they do it in more than six days, they have not met their expectation. So that's why we're writing an inequality and not an equation. All right, so let's find the important information here. It's important to note that they are already at 18,460 feet, that they want to get to 29,029 feet, and that they want to do that within six days. And average number of days tells us that we're going to end up multiplying. Alright, so when we're writing inequalities, inequalities are a little bit different than equations because we have to think a little bit differently because of the fact that it's an inequality. So our first step is going to be, of course, like it was before, we're going to identify our variable. Right? So in identifying our variable, we need to think of what are we looking for? So in this case, when we identify our variable, our variable, I am going to use m for miles per day. Because we want to know how many miles they need to walk per day in order to get to the summit. All right, step two. Step two is to figure out what is our inequality symbol going to be. All right, so now we have to think. This is where it gets a little complicated. So I did say that we have to think of within six days. So within six days means that we want to get there before the sixth day. However, we have to think in terms of our altitude. So in this case, let me get my pen back here. Right now, they are at 18,460 feet. And they want to get to 29,000 29 feet. So we have to think in terms of this. They want to get to the summit within six days, but we have to think in terms of feet, not in terms of days. So they want to get further than this number. So if they want to get further than that number, we want to use the greater than or equal to symbol. Okay, because what we're saying is if they want to do this in less than or equal to six days, they have to go 
more than 29,029 feet. So whatever they do, they have to do more than the 29,029 feet. So that's the symbol that we're going to use, the greater than or equal to. Okay, because if they want to do, so the speed that they go has to get them further than the distance that they want to go. So their speed has to take them, they have to go faster or fast enough to go further than they want to go. So they have to go a greater distance than the 29,029 feet. Step three, determine your plan of action from your word problem. All right, so now we're determining a plan of action from our word problem. So we know what that means is we know that we are starting at 18,000 460 feet. And we know that we want to get to 29,029 feet. And we know we want to go at a speed that gets us there, that gets us to a higher altitude uh, than 29,029 feet. But I need to go more than that, so I'm going to add to that, because obviously they need to go higher, so we're going to add to that. And I need to do that in six days or less. And I'm going to do that in by going a certain number of, and it shouldn't be miles, should be a certain number of feet per day. So I'm going to go eight, I'm going to start at 18,460 feet, and I'm going to add a certain number of feet per day in each of the six days to go more than 29,029 feet. And that should allow them to get to the summit within 16, within six days. All right, so now it's your turn. You are going to go ahead and try these problems on your own. Remember, determine your variable. After you've determined your variable, determine your symbol. After you've chosen your symbol, come on back and check, check your answer. All right, so for the first one, you started out with $1,240. And then each of the 45 members is going to add a certain amount of money to raise more than or equal to $6,000. And then for the second problem, you have the $6 admission fee plus $3 per ride, and that has to be less than or equal to the $40 that she has to spend for the state fair. I know it's a little bit complicated, but trust me, it'll get easier as we go. All right, writing a word problem for an inequality. First, you need to pull apart the problem. And what I mean by pull apart the problem is you have to look at all the pieces that you have and think about what each of the pieces represents. So in this case, you have to realize that you have an X. And X is actually the solution to your problem. So X is the solution to your problem. So the problem that you give, X has to be the solution. It's the quantity that the person is looking for. The quantity the solver is looking for. Okay, I'm going to make this a little smaller. And then you have 2x, and 2x means that for a reason given in the problem, the quantity we're looking for was multiplied by 2.
And then you have plus 20. And plus 20 means that in the problem, Twenty was added to the two x, and then you have less than or equal to, and you have less than or equal to fifty, and that means that after multiplying the solution. x by 2 and adding 20 so after you multiply the, the solution of x so I should put of x so after multiplying the solution of x by 2 and then adding 20 to it the result can be no greater than 50. Okay, so we want to keep all these things in mind when we're creating our story problem. Okay, so we're going to, in step number two, you're thinking of different situations. Okay, so you want to think of different situations for each of your pieces. So, for like for the first one, you run X miles per day for two days. So that would explain the x and that would explain why you would multiply it by two. So then so 2x is the total distance ran or run. And then or another one could be u by two items, each costing X dollars. So 2X is the total cost. So there's two examples of your 2X. Good morning, good morning, Russell family. Okay. Reminder, and I'm gonna apologize because you have Kurt going on here. Obviously, I'm at school, and you have an open forum. All right. So, so from here, you could continue to build, but you have to only go one piece at a time. If you try to go more than that, it starts to get confusing. All right. So now we've explained the two x. So then now we could explain the twenty. Okay. So. Moving down, we're going to build onto the situation. So I'm going to go with Thomas has run 20 miles so far this week. If he intends to run 50 miles or less, how many miles on average should he run each of the two remaining days? Okay, so you have Thomas, and he's already run the 20, or he's run the 20 miles, so there's your plus 20. And he can run 50 miles or less, so there's your less than or equal to 50. And then the two remaining days, so there's your 2x. All right, uh, for your average cost, Manny buys two work shirts that cost, or that are each the same Price. I apologize, I wrote these out before. 
after using a $20 gift card. So there's the he can spend no more than $50. What is the maximum amount he can spend on each shirt? Okay, so you have the plus 20, and then you have the two work shirts at X amount each. So notice how by figuring out your first part, it makes it easier to build your situation. Do not try to build it all at once. Build it piece by piece. What I want you to do for the your turns, I want you to build it piece by piece and then I'm actually going to check these in class. Do not try to build it all at once. Build it piece by piece and then I will check it in class when you guys come back. Okay, you have the guided practices that you guys are going to do online. As always, if you have any questions, please be sure to email me or write them down so we can go over them in class.